Hello, for those of you who watch my videos regularly, you'll know that there is a there's a chain of outdoor stores that I stopped shopping at last year because I had a real horrendous experience. Well, here to tell you that has changed. I am now shopping at Wholesale Sports again and I'm going to tell you briefly why. So I'm Dean and this is the Alberta Bushcrafter Channel. Alright, for those of you regular to watch my channel, you'll know that last year I stopped shopping at Wholesale Sports because I had a very, very bad customer experience. You know, I had a guy lie to my face in front of his boss. But, the thing was, it's a little bit of a story now, I'm, uh, I'm changing my tune. Hey, we're allowed to change our minds. So, how this started was I bought a nice Minn Kota outboard motor for my, uh, for my canoe, my inflatable canoe, which will be in another video. I'm actually doing some work on it and some improvements. It's a Cellular Colorado, so those of you who are familiar with it, you'll know some of the drawbacks. Anyways, I am building a motor mount for that thing, so I bought a, I bought the actual motor. One of the things I couldn't find was a decent battery box, and what I wanted was one of the ones with the 12 volt outlets and the uh, maybe the battery meter and certainly the lugs on the outside with the rubberized screws so you can just screw your terminals in and your motor's ready to go you don't have to fish cables around tried doing it myself it wasn't great so actually went to a number of stores went to walmart they didn't have any the el cheapo one i went to canadian tire they had the el cheapo one which is turns out it's the same as the actual Minn Kota power center for the most part but it was 90 bucks. The Minn Kota was 80 bucks. So I actually went up onto Cabela's website. I, I live way out of town, live about 100 kilometers, 60 miles away from the Cabela's. And I just happened to be doing a run through there. And yeah, I went there. The website said they had them in stock at that store. And I get there and they're like, no, sorry, sir, we can't find it. The Canadian Tire does stupid things like that. That's my one complaint against Canadian Tire or my biggest complaint against them is that their online inventory system will show that there's like six items in the store and you get there and they're like, oh, sorry, sir, we can't find them. Did not expect that to happen from Cabela's, but I'm still wearing their jacket. Anyways, so I was a little frustrated, went and got some other stuff, and I thought, eh, there's a wholesale sports here on the south side actually wrestled with myself should I go there I don't know yeah finally gave in and they actually had it this is the generic version of the battery box that I wanted punchline is it was 55 bucks what was really neat though was one of the fishing and optics guys don't remember what department he's primarily in but the guy's name was Liam what a difference what a difference customer service makes in a store like this guy was great he was helpful um so like i said i'm changing my tune the guy was very helpful we found the box they stuck around they checked their inventory they found out that the box hasn't been produced for a number of years the Minn Kota box uh, the second shout out's got to go out to their assistant manager matt i even explained like you this is not me to be shopping in this store. It was actually good enough and it was low enough price because often they're a little higher price than uh, the other stores. So I actually went through the store and I gotta say, you know, I don't like, um, I don't like ragging on a store. I don't like bad mouthing them. If I run into a problem and say, all right, this could use some improvement, like I said earlier here. Yeah, that's me, that's my opinion. Um, I may actually put together a real nice detailed rant on you know how you stores should be able to keep customers because you lose a customer like I said in my original rant you could be talking about over a lifetime 25 50 a hundred thousand dollars worth of business multiply that by the number of guys who leave your store 
It's scary. Oh, and the other thing is I checked Bass Pro and they had the cheap box for the same price, but I thought I'd hold out for the Minn Kota. Right, good call. Good enough store though that I bought a handful of cliff parts, picked up this hat. And you do recall I bought my North Face Stormbreak 2 tent there. They still have a decent, decent selection of tents. Kind of heavy on the MSRs a bit. I am not a fan of those. They're kind of overpriced, in my opinion. They also had these, which I will do a review on. These are learn and live card sets. Um, so I'm kind of tickled. I am. I'm kind of tickled about Wholesale Sports. I will be going back. Big shout out again to Matt and Liam. Um, I will do a review on these cards. I've got the pocket guides that I take with me sometimes. These are smaller, they look a little lighter. I'll see how they stack up. So I'm giving me, Wholesale Sports has given me stuff for another couple of videos. What really got me though, Outdoor Gear Review did a really nice review on what they call the Big Agnes Double Z sleeping pad, or here in Canada we'd say Double Z. So there, and in Britain as well I believe. Um, other reviews I've seen, that seems to be the only Big Agnes pad that doesn't develop leaks over a few years. It's the only one that got four stars, but um, Mount Equipment Co-op, which is one of my go-to stores, they were in mid hundred dollar range. I can't remember offhand. So here it is, picked it up at Wholesale Sports, $109.95. This thing is a little bigger than a Nalgene bottle, not by much. And it's one pound. This is another thing you will be seeing reviews on, especially when I get my uh, new hammock out. That's actually what I've been doing a lot this summer is testing gear. I haven't done too many videos, but that's going to change. So then again, yeah, so my little personal boycott is lifted against Wholesale Sports. I will not shop in the North End store again. That's personal choice. And, uh, I have to say, it's a decent alternative to some of the other places. So there's my little unrant. My name's Dean. Thanks for bearing with me on this one. This is the Alberta Bushcrafter channel. Like, share, subscribe, and comment. Take care. And good day.